Hello, everyone. It's John, your Indian Cinemaniac, with another 10 min excuse me, 10 ish minute review. Um, as always, please subscribe, hit the notification button, and hit the like button. Uh, it's a small thing that makes a big difference for this and our main channel. Okay, so the film I am reviewing today, uh, and this is one that a couple of you have been um, asking me to review, and I've been hesitant to review this film. Uh, because it is a um, reimagining, uh, an outright ripoff of uh, a film that I love, Forrest Gump. So yes, 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 yes. This is, uh, I'm going to review Lal Singh Chada, 2022's um, pretty much remake of Forrest Gump by Amir Khan. Now, everyone knows uh, what a big fan is of Amir Khan I am. I think he's one of the best Indian actors that I've seen in all the films I've watched. And that's not to take anything away from uh, SRK or Riddick Roshan or Amitabh Bachchan, who I love. But I don't know. There's something about uh, Khan, Amir Khan, um, the way he inhabits these roles. Now, a lot of you have said, don't watch this. It's a waste of time. And I know there was a lot of controversy on this film and I did a little research on it and I think I understand some of it. So this review is really twofold. One, just as a film, what did I think of it? And two, I'll attempt to get in the controversy a little bit because to be honest with you, I'm not from there. I don't really understand it all. So let me just say that up front. Now, uh, this was directed by Advat Chandaran. And based on it's based on Forrest Gump, the screenplay by Eric Roth. It stars Amir Khan, um, Ahmad uh, Ibn Umar, Karina Kapoor, who you guys know I love. She's the Janie character in this movie. It's Rupa, uh, Naga Ch uh, Chaitanya, Monica Singh, who plays his mother, and uh, in Three Idiots, she played the older sister of Karina Kapoor. And by the way, I thought she was great. I thought the mother was actually really good in this movie. Very different than Sally Fields, who played the mother in uh, Forrest Gump. Um, so it starts off, instead of on a park bench with his telling his story, starts off on a train where he's eating, um, oh, what's the name of these things? Uh, oh, uh, Galgapas. Galgapas with spiced water. And he's just mowing. And instead of life is like a box of chocolates, his was, mommy always said, uh, even when your tummy is full, your heart is empty. I think something like that. I think I'm getting that close. It's not life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That's my Tom Hanks Forrest Gump impression. So that's how it starts off. Um, so it, it flashbacks, just like they originally see him as a youth. And... Um, I thought the young lad who played um, Lal was good. Um, kind of stoic. Um, you could tell he was a little bit slow, but nothing nothing over the top. Um, what I did like was, and I know this is Indian culture, in Forrest Gump, she had to sleep with the guy to get the kid in the school. In this movie, she offered to basically be the guy's maid. And he, in turn, said, no, no, but you care that much about him, we'll let him in. I thought that was actually kind of nice. Um, and I understood it too. And I, I also thought what was funny as they were, as their um, Rupa and Lal's relationship was developing, which was a cute musical number that I really liked. I think it was, uh, I think the way they showed that burgeoning relationship, I thought was really nicely done. And the one thing that did kind of annoy me, I mean, look, if you look at this movie and, and I, I gotta be honest with you, the first 25 to 30 minutes, all I was doing was comparing it to Forrest Gump. OK, and it, it, it was actually distracting that I was doing that. And it definitely took away from the story. So there was one line where uh, Lal says, you know, we're like uh, carrots and peas, which is taken from Forrest Gump, except Forrest Gump said we're like peas and carrots. So I, I don't understand why they switched it when they took so much. Like even in the opening shot, he's got a checkered blue shirt, just like Tom Hanks had. Um so I really didn't get that. And, and again, Ralph, my brother always says I do recaps, but I have to do a little recap of this because of the existing property with Forrest Gump. OK, so in this movie where Forrest Gump, uh, they digitally inserted him in events in history with Kennedy, with John Lennon, a bunch of different things. 
This they did a little bit differently. And they showed moments in time. And, and most of the moments in time were upheaval. So there was a bunch of scenes. Um, one of them that I found really interesting was what, when they were um, they were visiting a cousin and they were, it was part of Operation Blue Star where the city was getting wiped out. But they, they didn't show the city getting wiped out. They showed, they showed everybody looking at it. So you only saw their POV and, you know, you, you could see flames, uh, red, but their look that they had on their faces to show the devastation, I thought was far more impactful than if you actually showed the devastation. So that, I thought that was kind of interesting. Now, the other things they did, so in the Forrest Gump film, he's got his braces on and he's, he's kind of awkward the way he moves. He teaches Elvis how to do his, uh, his hivel swip, his, his swivel hips. And I'm a big Elvis fan. Well, in this movie, Knock Me Over with a Feather, it's Shah Rukh Khan. Now, from what I understand, Amir Khan and Shah Rukh Khan do not get along because probably they're going after the same parts. So uh, I thought that was really interesting. And then they showed the clips from some of uh, SRK's movies where he's doing the arm thing that, that uh, Lyle taught him. I thought that was really funny. And, uh, and I was wondering how they were going to do the Elvis thing. So that was cool. Now, some of the scenes that they... Um, they they integrated into Lao's life was uh, the death of Indira Gandhi. Um, the the riots were, I don't know, people were getting burned. I don't know what that was. The prime minister getting killed, the end of the Mandal Commission, uh, the war, uh, the fact that he got posted in Cargill, Anna Hazar, her hunger strike, and, and the war with Pakistan. So, so Every every uh, nod to history was some kind of upheaval, uh, some kind of um, horrific thing, and, and a lot of it was related to religion. And I'll get to that part and and why about the controversy. So, and the other thing was, whenever the mother wanted to protect Lal, she would say, "Stay in the house because it's malaria." So stay in the house. There's a malaria outbreak. And what it really was, there was upheaval. And um, so that she was relating it to malaria. So, so I mean, it kind of came across as religious upheaval is equal to malaria. Now, I don't know if I'm reading too much into that. Was that the point? But that's definitely what I thought. Um, so, again, I think I get where some of the controversy comes from. Um, instead of shrimp, with bubblegum shrimp, they did uh, rupa undergarments. With the same kind of character, his buddy had, had the lip out. I don't know why they did that. I didn't think they needed to. Um, and the undergarments made it kind of interesting, I guess. Um, Lieutenant Dan, who, in, in uh, Forrest Gump, he's the guy, when they show the ancestors dying in a war, it was Lieutenant Dan, Gary Sinise's character, where um, all his forefathers died in war. And that's why he wanted to die in war. Well, in this movie, they flipped it. It was Lal's ancestors that died in war. And that's actually why he got posted, because all his family was in the war and he should be too. So the Lieutenant, the Lieutenant Dan character became a Pakistani soldier that was trying to kill Lal and, and his, uh, his platoon. So he ends up saving his life. Um, I thought that was... I thought that was an interesting take on the Lieutenant Dan character. And again, I think I get where some of the controversy comes from because they solved their issues because Lal is such a nice guy who doesn't believe in, I don't know if it's organized religion, but maybe religion extremism. And he turns the Pakistani into a believer of that who's going to go back and, and open up a school and teach people that you don't have to be a religious extremist if you're a good person. So, you know, I don't know if if his arc was as good as Lieutenant Dan's and Forrest Gump, but that's what it was. Um, I thought the wedding scene, you know, the, the arc is the same between uh, Rupa and Lal as it was with Jenny and Forrest. She's go, she goes through a lot of bad things. I will say, though, Karina Kapoor's character went through bad things, but not nearly as bad as Jenny Robin Wright's character in, in uh, Forrest Gump because she was a drug addict. Uh, they kind of implied she died of AIDS. 
So it was definitely a different arc. But I also found their relationship a little more believable than I did in Forrest Gump. So that didn't really bother me that much. Um, you know, they have the son together. They get married. And the wedding ceremony was beautiful. It was just a, a, a beautiful Indian wedding, unlike the simplicity of it of, in Forrest Gump. Um, I thought his monologue at the gravesite when he was saying goodbye to Rupa, I thought was beautiful. I thought he was wonderful in that scene. They had the feather at the beginning and the feather at the end. Um, the uh, oh, so so I have to say that a lot of you said not to watch this movie. It wasn't worth my time, and I have I disagree with that. I really I, I really did like this movie. I didn't like everything about it, and I'll get to my criticisms in a minute. But I see what they were trying to do. They were trying to take Forrest Gump and put it in Indian culture, and I think they were successful in that. I thought once I got past the, I'm going to compare it to the Forrest Gump movie, I really started to be a little more invested in what was happening. And I did find myself enjoying it. Um, and overall, I really liked the movie. Do I think it is as good as Forrest Gump? No, I don't. I think Forrest Gump was a better film. It resonated more with me. Do I, I think both movies were too long. There were parts in it that dragged in both movies, to be fair. But Overall, I think the hatred on this movie that I've read, and I've read it in reviews too, is more about the message that Khan was trying to send about religion, about extremism. And again, I don't know if it's religious extremism or just organized religion. But the reviews I read were really about that, or why even bother remaking this? That was a, a big criticism too. Um, and, you know, I kind of get that. It's, it's like remaking Jaws. I wouldn't want anyone to do that, but uh, I'm sure somebody will. Um, but I appreciated his effort. It was beautifully shot. I, I enjoyed the music. Uh, the music kind of had the same feel as uh, Forrest Gump. Um, so so I, I, I don't understand, all, again, strictly as a, a film watcher, I enjoyed the movie, so I don't understand all the hatred. Now, as we delve into some of the criticisms, maybe we can touch upon that a little. Now, as far as Amir Khan goes, I think he's an incredible actor. And I uh, he's a guy that becomes characters in his films. Where like Shah Rukh Khan, who I also really like, to me, almost plays the same... Um, He's got the same qualities in all his movies. He's a cool guy. He's smooth in most of them that, I, that I've seen. But when it comes to like inhabiting a character, Amir Khan for me is the guy. In this film, there were things I liked about his performance and I, I kind of got what he was trying to do. But there, there were things I didn't like. Like Tom Hanks, obviously he won an Academy Award for his performance, right? But the way he played it, he played it like he was slow, not like he was uh, autistic or um, mentally challenged, just slow. Where Amir Khan played it a little too much like PK and Doom 3, the twin brother in Doom 3, with his eyes. You know, he does that thing where he bugs out his eyes and he does the head twitch. He did that in the three movies. PK, it works because PK is an alien. Now, Doom 3... It only worked because he was playing two characters and he wanted the two characters to be completely distinct. I get that. I don't think it worked here. Because the other thing he did that really annoyed me, and I've never said that about an Amir Khan performance, but he did this thing where he, <laughs> every time he's talking to somebody, <laughs> and I thought that was too much. He didn't need that. His 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 in when he played it like innocently is when I bought into it the most. But he was doing <laughs> and then he'd stare, you know, with the wide eyes. So this was not one of his better performances. It wasn't horrible. It's just the choice he made. And again, I think part of the problem is if you never saw PK, if you never saw Doom Three, if you never saw Forrest Gump, you might say, okay, it worked. But but having seen those three things. And Tom, Tom Hanks' performance is so iconic. And he didn't do these kind of ticks that, that Khan does. And I think that kind of hurt his performance a little bit. Um, so, 
you know, there, there were a few other things like like the whole religious angle. And I've seen this. PK was like this, too. And I don't know enough about Khan's politics or his beliefs, but I'm, I'm getting the impression based on some movies that he either is it religion he doesn't believe in? Is it organized religion? Is it religious extremism? Because I know he's Muslim. So I, I don't really understand that. So if you have any thoughts on that, that you can clarify for me, because uh, his approach, it, 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 you know, it is a little stark in these movies. And I can understand why some people might be offended by it. So I see that. Uh, not all the hatred on this movie. I think it was a big boycott um, at the time the film came out. Um, so I would like to know that. I thought Karina Kapoor, who I love, and I think she's a beautiful woman. She was okay in this. I don't think it was... Uh, I don't think it was a real flashy part. And I really didn't understand. They left some things unexplained. Like the guy she was with, he, I know he was some kind of, I guess he was a gangster and he treated her awful, but I really didn't get it. And and apparently when he, when she gets arrested at their house, uh, she turned on the other guy, but they don't really explain what she did to turn on him. Uh, you know, I think they said they named names. So I thought that was, you know, it, it was okay. Um, I thought both the, the children in the beginning who played Lal and Rupa, I thought were really good. Um, I, I thought they were believable. Their, their relationship. I, I thought they did a nice job of that. And again, the mother's relationship with young Lal and old Lal too. I thought she was tremendous. She was one of the better performances in this movie. And her love for the son, like when he uh, graduated, when he got the medal, uh, the look on her face, um, you know, she was she was really good. I do have a question um, about the turban. Because they make a big deal of Lal putting on the turban. Um, in fact, there's music playing and it's this long. Th I can't get over how long these turbans are. I assume that's real. Um, but they made a big deal out of it. And the fact that he was now wearing a turban, she even, Rupa even says something about it about how, how handsome he looks in his turban. But what was the significance of the turban? What did that mean in his life that now he's wearing that turban? I'd like to know what you guys think about that. Um, um, and, you know, and one other thing that really bugged me, and I'm not 100% sure of this, but at the beginning of the film, uh, after uh, he's um, a child and, and Amir Khan's playing the character, in the early scenes with him, it looked like they de-aged him to show him younger and it looked a little strange i thought anyway and it did kind of i found it a little distracting um and i don't even know because I, I looked it up and and i can't get any answers on it is that what they did for part of the movie did they de-age him to make him look younger because i uh it 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 kind of bothered me i'll tell you another little anecdote too so um this movie was only available on uh, netflix uh so i put it in and it was English dubbed. Now, you would think, oh, English dubbed. Well, watch that movie. You don't need to watch its subtitle. But it bothered me because I've seen so many of his movies. I knew it wasn't his voice. And it really bothered me. So I had to go to the settings and figure out how to shut that off and put the Hindi version on and then get the English subtitles. But I, I was watching the first 10 minutes of it. I'm going, that's not his voice. I don't want to watch this. And I couldn't figure it out for a little bit. So I was like, oh, man, how am I going to be able to watch this film? So I ended up figuring it out and I watched it. I just thought that was funny because I knew everybody's voice and I knew it wasn't his voice coming out. So just a little, uh, you know, my Indian cinemaniac antenna was going. So um, so so overall, I did like the movie. I don't understand all the hate. I thought it was a well done film. Now, I, I'm going to say it one more time. If you if Forrest Gump didn't exist, I think more people would have liked this movie. I just do. It was interesting. He was an interesting character, a little over the top and some stuff, as I've already said. But comparing it side by side to Forrest Gump, yeah, I mean, it had an uphill battle from the start. But for what it was and what they were trying to accomplish, I thought they succeeded. So, so no, I didn't. Uh, the hatred, I don't get. Again, now, now, putting politics aside, some people's hatred might be totally based on his stance on certain things. I get that. But from my perspective, not really understanding all of that, I'm just looking at it as a, a film I put in and I enjoyed it. And, and uh, I was invested in the characters. I wanted to know what happened to them, even though I knew from the Forrest Gump movie. So, so yeah, I, I liked it. And uh, for those of you that said, you know, give it a shot, 
you might not hate it as much as other people are saying. I did and I didn't. I I, I enjoyed it and I give him an A for effort. I, again, not I don't think one of his best performances, uh, as I explained, but um, overall I liked it. So so thank you for you guys that were persistent to get me to watch because I was hesitant uh, based on what some of you were saying. So so I'm glad I did. Okay, so that's my uh, Lao Sing Chada review. Now the next film we're going to do. And I'm saying we because I'm going to get my brother Ralph on the next one. He recommended a film that he just watched. And it's not an Indian film per se. The film's called Polite Society. It's a film from 2023. Um, it, it's an, I think it's an English film. Uh, and, and it's in English. It's not uh, in Indian. It's not subtitled. Um, and it's supposed to be uh, like a Scott Pilgrim versus the world. So I told Ralph I'd watch it. And then he can come on the Tennis Minute show. And we're going to talk about it. So that's the next film we're going to do. Uh, you guys are giving me some recommendations like I asked for last one. And I appreciate that. Just please keep in mind, if I can't stream it, I can't watch it. And some of the films you're asking me to watch are not available for me to stream. And uh, sometimes you can watch them on YouTube, but they usually don't have English subtitles. So it makes it a little more difficult. So I appreciate the effort and keep them coming um, because uh, I'm really enjoying the plethora of movies that we are watching. So so thanks again, everybody. And I hope you appreciated me giving this one a shot. Uh, and that is the time when you're going to say, you know what? You know what? This time I am going to subscribe. I'm going to hit that notification button. And here's the last thing I'm going to do with a smile on my face. I'm going to smash that like button. OK, because, you know, because it helps. It really does help. So that's it, everyone. Uh, we will talk to you soon with Polite Society. And thanks for watching.